Hello. Edutainment Studios and Access Healthcare welcome you to Birth Control, Your Options. This module is part two of a four-part series on birth control. Birth control, also known as contraception, is designed to prevent pregnancy. Birth control methods may work in a number of different ways, from preventing sperm from getting to the eggs, to keeping the woman's ovaries from releasing eggs that could be fertilized, and to sterilization, which permanently prevents a woman from getting pregnant or a man from being able to get a woman pregnant. Your choice of birth control should depend on several factors. These include your health, frequency of sexual activity, number of sexual partners, and desire to have children in the future. Your healthcare provider can help you select the best form of birth control for you. In this course, the objective is to help you know what are the different types of birth control. Long-term birth control is the most effective way to prevent pregnancy. Short-term birth control is also effective, but mistakes you make in taking or using it can make it less effective. Depending on what you choose, long-term birth control can be permanent or last for years at a time. Sterilization is a permanent, non-reversible process, so it is an option if you do not want a child or more children. You can choose surgery or an implant. Both methods create a barrier in your fallopian tubes, preventing eggs from joining with sperm. During surgery, your fallopian tubes are blocked off by being cut or tied. If you choose an implant, a small coil is put into each of your fallopian tubes. Scar tissue builds up around the coils, which also blocks off the fallopian tubes. Sterilization can take up to three months to be effective, so you will need to use a backup method of birth control during that time. Male sterilization, called a vasectomy, may also be an option. Birth control implants are small plastic rods. They are placed in the skin of your upper arm during a simple procedure in your doctor's office. Implants release progestin into your body, which can stop you from ovulating and prevent sperm from reaching your eggs by thickening your cervical mucus. They can stay in your body for about three years. An IUD is a T-shaped device that your gynecologist places in and later removes from your uterus. There are two kinds of IUDs, the copper IUD and the hormonal IUD. The copper IUD prevents pregnancy by releasing copper into your uterus. This small amount of copper causes an inflammatory reaction that stops sperm from reaching an egg. Copper IUDs can stay in your body for up to 10 years. The hormonal IUD works by releasing progestin into your uterus. This causes your cervical mucus to thicken, which stops sperm from reaching your eggs. If an egg does become fertilized, progestin prevents it from attaching to your uterine wall. Hormonal IUDs can also prevent you from ovulating. These IUDs can stay in your body for three to five years. The injection methodology also works by releasing progestin into your body, which prevents you from ovulating. It also thickens the mucus of your cervix, which keeps sperm from reaching your eggs. It is injected into your arm or buttocks once every three months by your doctor or pharmacist. Because the shot has the potential to cause temporary bone density loss, you can only use it for two years in a row. Depending on what you choose, short-term birth control can work for up to three weeks before you need to replace it. The vaginal ring is a small, flexible ring that you place inside your vagina. It works to prevent pregnancy by releasing estrogen and progestin into your uterus. This stops you from ovulating and thickens your cervical mucus, so sperm cannot reach an egg. You put the ring inside your vagina and it stays in place for three weeks. You remove it the week you have your period, then restart a new ring after seven days. The patch attaches to your lower abdomen, buttocks, outer arm, or upper body like a sticker. It releases progestin and estrogen into your body. It usually prevents you from ovulating and thickens the lining of your uterus. You replace the patch once a week for three weeks in a row. On the fourth week, when you get your period, you do not use the patch. There are two kinds of birth control pills, combined and progestin only, or called the mini pill. The biggest difference between the two is that the combined pill releases two hormones into your body, estrogen and progestin, instead of just progestin. Both pills work by thickening your cervical mucus to prevent sperm from reaching an egg. The combined pill also prevents you from ovulating. If you choose birth control pills, you will need to take a pill at the same time each day. However, combined pills are not recommended if you are a smoker over the age of 35, have a history of blood clots, or a history of breast, liver, or endometrial cancer. Barrier methods are very short term since they must be put in place every time you have sex. 
Male condoms are made of latex, polyurethane, or natural lambskin material. They fit snugly over a man's erect penis to prevent sperm from entering the female body. Condoms are the most effective way to prevent STDs, except for natural lambskin condoms, which do not protect against STDs. The female condom is a thin pouch made of rubber that you place inside your vagina to keep sperm out of the female body. Like male condoms, they can protect against most STDs. You can insert a female condom up to 8 hours before you have sex. Diaphragms are made of latex or rubber and look like a little cup or dome. Cervical caps look more like a thimble and are made of latex or silicone. Both work by blocking sperm from entering your cervix and need to be used with spermicide. Your doctor will give you a pelvic exam to fit you with the correct size. After you have sex, you must leave your diaphragm or cervical cap in place for 6 to 8 hours. Remove your diaphragm within 24 hours after sex, and your cervical cap within 48 hours. The sponge is a soft, disc-shaped object filled with foam and spermicide. You put it in your vagina before sex so that it covers your cervix and prevents sperm from entering your uterus. You can insert a sponge up to 24 hours before sex. It has to stay in place for at least 6 hours after sex, but no more than 30 hours. Emergency birth control is an option for situations such as condom tears, incorrect use of birth control, or if you are a victim of sexual assault. It is not meant to be used as a regular method of birth control. The most common type is known as the morning after pill, or emergency contraceptive pills, or ECPs. It works by stopping or delaying ovulation. The most effective ECP is only available by prescription, and you can take it up to five days after having unprotected sex. Other options include progestin-only birth control pills, but they have higher amounts of the hormone. They are most effective if you take them within three days of having unprotected sex. These are available over the counter, but they are not sold everywhere. The copper IUD can also work as EC. Your doctor will have to insert it within five days of having unprotected sex, but it can stay in your body for up to 10 years if you choose. If you use a method of EC, take a pregnancy test if your period is late by at least a week. If you do become pregnant after using an EC, it will not harm the baby. Fertility awareness or natural family planning or the rhythm method can be somewhat effective, but it takes a lot of work and self-control. You learn how to tell when you are ovulating so you can use a barrier method or not have sex during that time you are most likely to get pregnant. For it to work, you will need to learn the rhythm of your menstrual cycle by keeping track of when you get your period, whether it is light or heavy, and how it makes you feel. You need to check your discharge daily. You are most likely to get pregnant when it looks and feels like raw egg whites. You need to check your temperature with a basal thermometer daily. Your temperature will rise 0.4 to 0.8 degrees on the day you ovulate. Although you can buy tests that try to tell you when you ovulate, these are only helpful when you want to become pregnant, not when you are trying to avoid a pregnancy. Please feel free to investigate these sites and others for more information, and remember to bring any concerns or questions in to discuss with your doctor. Here are some other sites for more information. Do your research. Knowledge is power and freedom. Thank you for joining us today for part two of this four-part series on birth control, and come back for part three.